have been using the mouse backpack for the last few weeks to carry my items for work. That is why I thought why not do a combined what's in my bag and review video in one. This is the Maus Extreme Commuter Backpack. Maus is known for their supposedly indestructible phone cases. And they incorporated that technology into this Extreme Commuter Backpack. All over the bag, they integrated their aero foam material to protect your contents from drops. I did not intentionally nor accidentally drop the bag to test the protection. That being said, this is definitely a very durable bag and I personally would trust this bag to keep my camera equipment safe if I'd use this as camera bag. However, all of this padding makes this a very bulky and boxy bag. Nevertheless, it is comfortable to carry either walking or riding on a motorcycle with a bulky motorcycle jacket. Before I go into what I carry inside this bag, if this video is of value to you and slash or you like my content, please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell and like button. This helps out this channel quite a lot. All right, let's take a look at what's inside my backpack. So let's go over what I packed inside the Mouse Extreme Commuter backpack. If you have watched the Orbit gear review that I have done a couple of weeks ago that you can see here in the info tab above. Most of the items mentioned in that video are in this video as well. However, I think that I didn't change too many items around actually is a testament to most of the items that are inside. So before I go into the bag, let's just look a little bit on the outside. As mentioned in the introduction, it is a very bulky bag and rather boxy shape due to all of the so-called arrow foam inside the walls and the, <coughs> excuse me, inside the padding of the backpack that protects all of the contents inside. From my impressions and experience, I can say this backpack definitely will keep your items safe. That being said, I did not drop this bag, neither accidentally or intentionally because my items are precious. I don't want to damage anything, but I feel very confident that my items will be safe inside. This is a clamshell opening backpack with a flap down, yeah, how would you call this, um, hat, flap down cap that keeps the opening even further protected. Inside this flap, there is a quick access zip out pocket here with a YKK AquaGuard zipper in which I store chapstick, eye drops and cough drops. However, while this is a very cool addition in terms of being a quick access compartment, it doesn't have that much volume. Uh, it is fairly limited once you close this top compartment down and basically the volume of this quick access pocket is getting smaller as soon as you kind of close this top brain top cap the volume of that quick access compartment gets a little bit tight and limited but you have another quick access compartment here on the side in which there is also a key leash also a very tight fit here so i would only put my keys maybe my wallet in here that being said i prefer to store my extra wallet in this hidden pocket here in the back panel which is here by the way all of the items mentioned in this video are linked below and if you want to get any of those items please consider using those affiliate links with those you won't pay more but you will support this channel with a small kickback of that sale so all of these compartments have ykk aquaguard zippers and you have very beefy shoulder straps that are comfortable to carry. The back panel is very padded. There is some air channeling, but in my humble opinion, most back panels, no matter how much channeling there is, your back will get wet, sweaty or whatever eventually. Then you have a luggage pass through here. 
A beefy side handle, which I like a lot. It's very comfortable, much more comfortable than this top handle, which in my humble opinion is only useful to hang the bag on a hook, but it's not that comfortable to carry the bag on this top handle. But the side handle is very comfortable. Then you have a water bottle pocket. And this is the first item that I want to mention that I always carry. This is a isolated coffee mug. And as mentioned in my Orbit Gear video, I do not like the coffee at most offices. So I prepare my own coffee at home, put it into this isolated bottle and bring it to the office. Once this is empty, I use this as a water bottle. Once I rinse it out completely, of course. And many of you might know that I don't really like outer water bottle slots because I always kind of fear that if I have to run that the bottle kind of wiggles itself out and drops to the floor or more importantly when I'm on a motorcycle I don't want to lose this and potentially endanger a car that is driving behind me. So what I did is on this lid there is this loop that is actually attached to the bottle so the lid is always attached to the bottle but I removed that and created this little loop and this bottle holder is actually also intended for maybe a tripod. Therefore there is this compression strap on the side and what I did is just use this compression strap to secure the bottle via this little loop and then hook it into this compression strap and now it is somewhat protected so even if this would wiggle itself out I still have kind of security that this will just dangle on on the bottom of the backpack instead of smashing in the front shield of the car behind me. So I am a fan of pink. I know this is not really pink, this is maybe kind of like salmon, but I like this kind of color because I definitely won't forget it in the office because it is so visible. And this is from 720 degrees. I really like this bottle actually. It keeps everything warm or cold, however you like. And yeah, it's, it's great. Furthermore, you have on the outside you have the laptop slot however i switched to the samsung fold 5 and i have been using this for a month now and i don't need a laptop anymore i just carry this phone and do everything besides editing of course because when i'm going to an office they usually provide me with an editing workstation so i don't need a beefy laptop but emailing file transfers banking surfing the web listening to music while editing or watching youtube in my breaks i can do everything with this phone and this is so great because i do not need to carry a laptop that being said, there's obviously a laptop compartment here on the back panel, which is, as mentioned before, everywhere's aero foam that protects your items. This laptop slot is actually um, suspended and has, I can't show you because I don't have a camera to go inside this bag, but there is kind of like a squarish thing at the bottom that protects the laptop from hitting the ground. And you have a laptop slot and a tablet slot in here. Also these zipper pulls for the laptop slot are great. This is kind of this finger pull thingy, great. And now let's go to the main compartment. To get inside you open this fit lock. Maybe you have seen the video I hate fit locks. You can see it in the info tab above. But this is the style of fit locks that I love. This is a so-called V-buckle fit lock. My issue with most fit locks in essential positions like on a sling bag, on the strap. Some fit locks are very prone to accidentally open. With a V-buckle fit lock this can't accidentally open because you have to intentionally grab this pull pull in the other direction and open it up. But you still keep the ease of use that this closes by a magnet, which I like a lot. So my favorite style of fit locks, this V-buckle style. So you open it up, open the brain cap, and then you can do open up the bag clamshell style. And what I love about this bag is there are so many compartments without overwhelming you. I always tend to say the more 
compartments, the more slots a bag gives you as an option, the more likely it is that it either overwhelms you because you kind of forget where you put what items or it forces you to change your packing style to the bag. For instance, if you have specific shaped items, then you have a specifically small or specifically shaped compartment, then that item might not fit into that slot. So that's why I'm saying the more slots there are, there is the higher potential for you to change your packing style. This bag on the other hand this has a lot of slots but in practice I noticed that I was able to utilize all of the slots without it overwhelming me and or without it getting in the way. Like most backpacks in the lid it has a few zippered pockets on this you have actually four and what i really like and in the beginning i thought i would not use this and i don't like this here in the top there are two mesh pockets that are only closed by this kind of elastic so there's no zipper but still everything that is inside is protected. Usually you have this mesh pockets that only have an elastic and then it's open on the top, but this is not open on the top. So you can actually drop in small items without having to fear that they will fly out if you kind of like open up too quickly, you know? So I really like these pockets. In the beginning, I thought I don't need these, but these pockets are great for small items like a thumb drive, which I use a lot. This is one from SanDisk, which has USB-C on one side and USB-A on the other side. So what I do is actually, I get an email with an attachment. I put this into the Fold 5, copy it on this USB drive, and then put it on the workstation that I'm working on. So this is a great flash drive that I love and I put this into a small pocket so I can really quickly grab it and without having to fear that I potentially lose it. Then this top pocket or this middle pocket is my quick access work stuff. So inside I have four items. One, a small moleskin notebook into which I scribble my conversations with the client, so feedback and stuff like that. And I am much faster when I'm writing instead of typing. So when I'm in the call, I write everything into this moleskin instead of typing it. The Fold 5 has, and I use a pencil by the way, and the Fold 5 has a pen input and this is the Fold 5 pen, an extra. I have the small one attached to the case but a bigger one also with me. Now you might ask why don't you write your notes into the Fold 5 and the reason being is I am, when I'm let's say in a hurry and I need to write down stuff quickly. I tend to kind of push too hard. Um, my mother is telling me that is because I'm stubborn. That's why I'm kind of pressing down too much when I'm writing. And that's, I think that's kind of true. When I'm in a hurry and I'm writing down all of the feedback really fast, I tend to push way too hard. So I don't want to damage the Fold 5 by writing too hard on the display. So notes inside here, but I carry this extra pen. The Fold 5 actually is an amazing journaling tool. I usually journal inside an A5 sized journaling moleskin and I noticed that I usually forget to bring it, therefore I forget to journal. And now with the Fold 5, I can actually journal wherever I am, either with the pen that is on the case, or with the pen that I carry with me. So I keep that in the middle pouch. The next thing that I bought just for the Fold 5 is this little stand because I actually have my own keyboard to which I get in a minute. It is Bluetooth keyboard and yeah, I put the Fold 5 here next to the keyboard and then I can email off the Fold 5, watch YouTube videos and yeah, do stuff without having it to be in my hand or laying on the desk. And it is a little bit higher. You can actually extend this a little bit higher. So in terms of ergonomics, it's actually better. So this is my stand and this is actually really cool whenever I will be flying then I can put the Fold 5 on here to watch movies while uh, flying and this is called the Gritten Phone Stand. So that's in the middle slot. Then in the slot below 
I have the Able Carry Stash Pouch. Or is it the Joey Pouch? I forget. No, this is the Stash Pouch. This is all my medical essentials like band-aids, eye drops. I wear contact lenses, hard contact lenses. So I need to put some eye drops into my eyes or ibuprofen if I get a headache and stuff like that. So this is always with me. And I put that into this bottom zipper pouch then going into the main compartment it is winter but even in summer i always bring a small jacket with me because air conditioning can be cold and stuff like that so i always bring a small jacket in addition to whatever i'm wearing at that time this one is from topo design this is quite lightweight so it fits perfectly into the main compartment then I bring headphones. These are the Sennheiser HD25. At my own workstation, I use the Rode headsets, but they are a little bit bigger because they are much more padded and therefore much more comfortable to carry over longer periods of time. But they are so big that I didn't want to bother myself to carry that. So I carried these. These are a little bit more lightweight. These are actually DJ headphones that I actually bought yeah when i was still djing so these are quite old and it's a testament to the durability of these headsets these are amazing actually then i got a small box right now it's clean this is actually washed i don't know how i got all of these scratches into the lid because i am eating out of the box and not out of the lid i have no clue why i have so many scratches but this is actually clean uh, just for um, reference this is about the footprint of one and a half milk cartons and in terms of thickness i would say the half of a milk carton so you have a little bit of a reference this is the Trake folding pouch. You can see a video in the info tab above. Inside we have my extended EDC. The extended EDC is all of the items that, for me EDC is everything that is in my pockets. However, extended EDC is all of the items that I need in my backpack but don't want to carry with me in my pockets. So phone charger like this anchor wall plug with two USB A ports. I want to upgrade to a GAN charger in the future, but this is still working great. So why throw this away and yeah, spend some more money just on the new charger while this is still working. So I still use this anchor wall plug. Then I have this Shargeek power bank, also a video in the info tab above. This is an amazing power bank because you have a USB-C, USB-A, and it actually on the display, it shows you how much time is left until your device is fully charged. So I really like this power bank. Then I have a fiber cloth, a USB-A, to micro USB with a USB-C adapter on it because I also use this to charge my old MX Master mouse to which I get in a second and then I have like a flashlight, a Fisher Space Pen, a small Swiss Army knife tool, a SIM ejector tool, stuff that it's good to have but it's not necessarily needed to be in my pants pockets. So let's put this all back inside and yeah i stick with this track folding pouch because i usually switch around my extended everyday carry but i always go back to this track folding pouch this is so simple it doesn't have any this is just one slot right it's just one compartment and nothing special about it but because it is so small and once you figure out your your configuration and how you pack everything inside this is so much better than most pouches that have so many slots yes your organization is great but with this pouch of items that i don't necessarily need in a moment's notice i rather have a small compact form factor that is soft and therefore kind of adapts to any space where i put it i prefer this over something that is more organized and therefore potentially a little bit more bulky and maybe doesn't fit every nook and cranny or hole therefore i always go back to this one this footprint is so small just as a size comparison my fold 5 is about the height of the folding pouch I prefer the Drake folding pouch. It's a great pouch for EDC. Again, it's not organized. 
it's not padded it won't protect your items inside but it will keep everything in one place and it's so small and so flexible that it will fit any place then next i have my favorite keyboard this is the timber keyboard with custom keycaps and i actually switched out the switches from gatoron brown to gatoron yellow switches and this let me hold it up to the mic this is so satisfying to work with the thing about this keyboard that i like a lot you can actually program this keyboard with multiple layers of custom commands while pressing the function key but this makes working for me personally so much easier because the setups or your custom layout is actually saved inside the keyboard and therefore it doesn't matter to which computer i hook this up the setup is always the same and that's why i love this so much furthermore you can connect up to five different bluetooth devices and this makes the combination with the fold so much better because on bluetooth 1 i have my own workstation on bluetooth 2 i have the fold 5 3 4 and 5 are then left for whatever computer of my clients i'm working on so i can just easily switch between devices while sticking to one keyboard and that's why i love this also this is real wood and it's not too heavy and therefore it's fairly easy to carry around and yeah I, oh, this is so great to work with and if you wonder all of these colors these custom keycaps are referring to editing commands Avid made this the first and I just yeah I learned editing on Avid and Final Cut 6 I believe or 7 6 or 7 and I stuck to my custom commands and these colors make it much easier for me to see from my peripheral view which button I'm pressing and also it looks it looks great I love colors then here on the back panel you have more slots this is a slot where you could put a water bottle or whatever inside but i opted to put the water bottle outside you have a, a zippered pocket up here in which i store the logitech mx master this is the version one on my main desk i have the version 3 already but this is still holding up and i thought i just use this for working in the client's environment the only thing that happened there is usually there is rubber on this scroll wheel and it kind of got a little bit icky not because i didn't clean it but i don't know some form of rubber kind of disintegrates over time not sure why it gets sticky and kind of oxidate uh yeah yeah it, it oxidates is that the word oxidation what's the verb of oxidation it oxidates <laughs> and yeah it kind of disintegrates and gets sticky and yeah brittle so i kind of just took a knife and just cut it off but other than that this works flawlessly although that's not 100 percent true because this is a bluetooth version that also has a transmitter the bluetooth is kind of spotty at times depending on what computer i'm working on therefore i always have this unified receiver for the mouse i put it onto a usb 3 4 port hub and then i just plug this into the client's computer and use the receiver obviously i could just use this receiver put it into the computer but i kind of don't want to forget it because it's so small so i put it onto the usb hub put my name and the address onto usb hub if i forget it everyone knows this is bose or i can see it clearly because it dangles usually behind the monitor and i never forget it then i have a usb a to usb c cable for the timber keyboard oh yeah the only downside about this timber keyboard the usb c port is quite recessed therefore you have to use the usb c cable that was provided with this keyboard because any other regular usb c cable won't reach into the ports inside this is so stupid okay this is the only downside about this keyboard that the usb c port is so recessed inside that you need to use this yeah let's call it proprietary usb-c cable and then now it's winter it's actually very cold outside 
but a couple of weeks ago it was still warm so what i did is inside this next zippered compartment i put a merino t-shirt inside if i ride my motorcycle it's a little bit too hot on the motorcycle and i arrive sweaty therefore i brought another t-shirt inside my backpack that's basically it these are all of the items that i carry for work inside this mouse extreme commuter backpack and yeah as you can see you can fit a lot of items into this backpack and the clamshell opening is actually really good to load and unload all of the items that you want to bring either for work or for traveling and yeah i do like the style or the usability i really like the usability of this backpack because it's easy to load it's easy to organize your stuff the ease of mind of stuff being protected with all of the padding around is great the build quality is amazing everything feels very durable and high quality and yeah that's about it so this was everything that i carried for work inside the mouse extreme commuter backpack the mouse backpack is a tank with a bunch of great compartments that keep all of your items safe while being comfortable to carry but the durability comes with the trade-off of being very bulky boxy and rigid is this a downside uh yeah that's totally up to you for me personally it is a very usable and useful bag but the bulkiness is not really my cup of tea i probably won't use this for work but i am considering transforming this into a camera bag and use some camera cubes inside the backpack what do you think would you trade overall form factor for much better protection of all your items inside let me know in the comment section below and if you consider buying the most extreme commuter backpack please use the affiliate links below with that you won't pay more but you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale Plus, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also check out my Instagram, Patreon and podcast at you know the boat. Stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.